So we've got a treat for you today. We've partnered up with Eclipse and Models in the past and they've sent us some really nice 3D printed planes. Now this one was sent to us by NGen 3D Printing. Now all of the planes I didn't 3D print myself, NGen actually sent to us. You can actually go to them, order your plane and get it sent directly to your house. This one is one of their newest ones. It's the Mustang. They started out a Warbird line and this is the first one. We're gonna put it together and see what it looks like. All right, so one of the cool things about the new Eclipse and Plane is they have retracts that are 3D printed. I just got done putting this one together. I still have to install the servo, but it seems like it works pretty darn nice. It even locks itself out so it don't collapse and don't put stress on the servo. So I'm gonna put the servo on this, get it put in the wing, and we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Uh, Dave has been working really hard behind the scenes, working with the Lightweight PLA from ColorFab to design a tenant fuselage. Now, if you guys don't know what the tenant is, it's a reconfigurable design that we have that enables students to be able to build, design, and fly. One thing we thought would be really cool is if we had a 3D printed solution where people could mix and match different components to make a pusher, a tractor, exactly what we do with our foam fuselage, but this time using Lightweight PLA from ColorFab. We have a design ready to go. We're gonna put it in the air and see how it works. Guy. <laughs> oh, that's dope. Hey, Dave. Good job, bro. Thank you. It's hands off. <laughs> <laughs> it's still flying. It's still flying. <laughs> How happy are you right now, Jason? I'm over the moon. <laughs> if it flies this good with version one, man, we had to put a 1300 milliamp three cell up in the front of it. Even with that nose to get the balance, even with that extra nose weight, and you put a little weight in the, in the front, right? Yeah. That's ridiculous! Three channel, uh, three channel inverted. inverted. <laughs> we'll, we'll cover that in our tips and tricks for beginners. That's right. All right, you gotta fly it. <laughs> so you can you can make the uh, FPV nose then for it. Yes, too? definitely. And you know the, the fact that they're you know 3D prints, we can just make separate files, and there can be one with and one without. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so here, here's the vision. If we can make this work, they'll not only be the tenant, but there'll also be files for schools to use for the tenant when they do the tenant project, where kids can then 3D print their own fuselages. And that means they can go one step beyond the airframe and the tail, but they can actually change the configurations of the moments of the fuselage in a very easy way. And your little bumper nose, I mean, we'll, we'll crash test it later, because I don't want to break it right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. why, don't, why don't you just try landing, and we'll see how it takes the landing. Yeah! Dave, all. Perfect. Good job, Dave. Thanks, buddy. You did it. You did a thing. Oh my gosh. This, this is the cool part. The battery is right there. <laughs> boop, boop, dude. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of room to make a nice little tray and everything there. Yeah. And unfortunately, it, it has a squishy nose, but this one I had to add some weight to. We'll, we'll make some changes. And... There is a considerable amount more weight in this than, than the stock one will have. And I think when we get this all prettied up and stuff, it'll just be a really elegant, clean setup. I agree. Oh, great work. All right, well, back to work. Yeah, let's go. All right, I think we're ready to go. I just got done with the last landing gear. We got to mount this. Mike already put the aileron servos in. We just have to wrap up the rudder and uh, elevator, and we can go fly it. All right, Josh, so <laughs> we just got the 3D printed plane all together. And I have to say, Eclipse now did themselves this time. It, it looks spectacular. Seeing the evolution of basically where they've come from and where they are now, especially with the new high temp lightweight PLA and Retrax. Yeah, yeah, and the awesome thing about the high temp lightweight is it holds up better in sun, so you might want to check it out. So what do you say, we grab some batteries and go out and fly this thing? Let's do it. All right, awesome. You blend into the truth there. <laughs> it's gonna be fun it's, for you looking down, isn't it? It's probably gonna be hard for you to see, Josh. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's okay though. All right, so we're ready to fly this here. We're gonna put this up. A lot of people first though, have been asking for us to share more specs about the aircraft. We're gonna do that right now in a good old-fashioned way. You ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Specs. All right, you ready to put it up? Yeah, let's do it. All right. And the cool thing is, is we have a brand new runway to take off. Yeah, yeah. Out of here at uh, Adams Ready Board Runway. Um, Still has a little bit of wrinkles in it, but uh, the sun hasn't gotten to it yet. It's been cold. Yep, we got to redo this. It has lights on it. It's really cool. When you guys come out here, make sure you fly here. We're gonna put this up in the air, see how she does. All right, so we're gonna take it off here. My youngest son, Michael, he's gonna be following us. 
You ready? Yeah, let's Straight do left, this. Up, down. Oh, geez. Well, in typical eclipse in flat fashion, it flies really good. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of down trim. I saw a little bit of up trim earlier on there. How's it feel? It feels really good. I'm running 30% expo, and then you went to the second hole on the servo arms, correct? Yes. All right, ready? Three, two, one for the landing gear. Landing gear oh, going beautiful. up. Beautiful. Right It'd help if I didn't go through the sun, though, huh? <laughs> Light characteristics with the gear up is no different than gear down. Oh, perfect. Tracks like an arrow. Yeah, Eclipson has been doing a great job uh, making these models. Yeah, one thing a lot of people ask about, they don't have 3D printers, but they want to model with this detail. Uh, Eclipson has partnered with a really cool company called Engine, and you can actually get these 3D printed models sent to you pre-printed now, rather than having to print them yourself. So this model wasn't printed by us, this is printed by Engine. And uh, work was good, Dave? Yeah, yeah, it, it went together really smooth, um, lightweight PLA, it's high temperature this time, so it holds up better in sunlight. I love the olive drab. Um, also, Eclipson wants to know uh, what other models you guys would like to see as far as Warbirds go. They want to try to start a Warbird lineup and uh, they want your opinion, this, so let them know. And this is a great size. This is Power Pack C 2200 4 cell. I'm going to go ahead and actually put it in the, into the wind here. I'm going to stall it and see how she behaves. No gyros on this. One, two, slowing down. Look at that. Oh, it just stopped. Wow. <laughs> Almost full back, almost full back, and there's full back. And she she did drop a tip, but that's totally recoverable. Should I, should I do some maneuvers maybe? Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, put her through her paces first. All right, we'll just do a quick roll here. Mike the Ami, three, two, one, roll. And again, holding the inverted. Oh, perfect. <laughs> just a little bit of forward pressure on inverted, just like you'd anticipate with a Warbird. <laughs> what I love is full throttle. It doesn't change any pitch whatsoever. All right, landing gear down. All right, both of them are down. That's a good sign. What do you say we do a touch and go and then I'll come back for a landing? Perfect. Bring her down. This will be a good test on the landing gear. Yeah, it seems like this model will slow down nice and it also goes fast too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, something we cannot show. <laughs> that was close. I, I thought you were at the edge though, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm amazed how well it slows down and how predictable the descent is. It doesn't bite you. Look at that. Beautiful flying, Josh. Thank you, brother. Oh. All right, it's always a good thing when one comes up and one comes down. Yeah, in one piece of that. Definitely. <laughs> now, friends, like, like Dave said, Eclipson wants to see what warbirds you want to see next year. Make sure you leave that down in the comments below. Also, there's a lot of Black Friday sales. Eclipson's going to be giving you a 5% additional discount if you use the word flight in your coupon code, so make sure you do that. Yep. Happy flying. We'll see you next time. See you next time.